Gary. How you doing? Hi, how are you, Chesley? I am excellent. I love this space you're in. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is that? Oh, thank you so much. How you been, man? I mean, it's been a tough year for a lot of people, but I feel like you bring a lot of joy and, and laughs to a lot of people. Oh, thank you. That's so. That's really nice of you to say. That that makes me happy if that's the case. You know, I'm hanging in there like everybody. You know, trying my best. Yeah, yeah. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Well, and I feel like I mean. Like I said, you, you bring so many laughs to people. How do you do that? Because you've got so many jokes all over your Instagram page. You could just sit there with a big belly laugh scrolling through all day. I mean, do you stockpile these jokes? No, I don't. No, I don't think about it too much to tell you the truth. I mean, I, it's like whatever something hits me or, or, you know, like that, that I think is funny. Fortunately, a lot of times it connects with other people, you know, mm -hmm. that people are kind of thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah, we usually are. Well, and when did you decide like Instagram was like the best place to share all your jokes? Well, before that, you know, I, I have been on Twitter and, you know, it got like, meh, it wasn't for me anymore. And I, didn't, I was just kind of playing around on Instagram. I just thought, you know, I was just having a fun. It was just kind of to amuse myself. And that's <laughs> how it started. <laughs> Oh, well, well, and then when did your attention turn to like the royal family on Instagram? You know, it was, I just saw, I was doing a few memes uh, occasionally and I saw these photos of Prince George and he was super expressive and he had such an attitude. And I thought, oh, it would be fun to give a fictitious personality uh, to him. And, <laughs> but I didn't think anything really of it. And then, you know, it kind of took off from there and I incorporated the rest of the royal family and just created this completely fictitious universe. Oh my God, and people love it because it is hysterical. Okay, I, I gotta ask you this. What would you say are like your like top three favorite posts on your Instagram right now? Gee, okay, well, <laughs> I don't think, you know, it's funny because I don't think of them too much after it's done, but I do, there was one that was to Succession. I don't know if you watch Succession. It's I love favorite. Succession. Oh Give my God. The I, right now, Gary. I have to watch it all again before the new <laughs> season starts in the fall. Um, so there was one done with the opening credits and I love the music and it was done instead of with the Roy family, with the Royals, you know, all of them. And it kind of, so I really liked that one. It was kind of pushing the envelope further with what you could do on Instagram. And then yeah. there was one that was a video of Charles and Camilla kind of coming out and waving to some people, you know, mm -hmm. and some charity thing in front of their house. But it kind of, you know, we put audio with it as if they were being directed because it actually looked like they had never just waved before you know like they seemed so awkward and uncomfortable so the audio of them with talking with the director and reacting to it those would be my favorites oh my god those are hysterical i'm so glad you're a fellow succession fan too oh yeah well, and, and you mentioned like like so what is is there a line is there a line that you won't cross when it comes to like telling some of your jokes you know yeah i mean you know the thing is, sometimes my line is in somebody else's line. You know, everybody has their own idea of what it is. Yeah. But I never want anything to be cruel. Nothing is ever intended to be cruel. That's why all the guests that have appeared on the show, they actually do their own voices because everybody's in on the joke, you know? And yeah. there's nothing that is intended to be hurtful in it. it I, I never do. You know, somebody might think that but it's never my intention it's just to be silly and fun and if something yeah. it feels too much that then I won't do it okay okay that's a fair line that's a fair line and I, and I feel like that comes across like I, like I feel like all of the jokes you can tell that it really is just poking good just general fun at people and and it is hysterical so you're so tell me this your your Instagram is what led to the tv show the prince right right yeah okay. yeah so tell me how that happened well, I've been, you know, I've been on and off at Family Guy since the very beginning. So I have a relationship with uh, 20th Animation and uh, Marcy Prieto and Donnie Davis, who uh, was at 20th at the time. And they kind of, we talked, you know, they, they had me come in and they're like, hey, have you thought about turning this into an animated show? And I was like, I don't know, I kind of have been actually. And that, that was the genesis of it. 
Oh my gosh. And, and as you're voicing George, like, was there any inspiration for that voice or like what, what's behind that? You know, it's just how I hear it in my head. It became easier for me to do it than anybody else to do it because I hear it so specifically, you know, how it should be. And it would be <laughs> with an actor, I would be very clearly, you know, like, no, it has to be exactly like this. And um, I think, you know, since obviously I'm not doing a very proper British accent, it's kind of just uh, almost um, a kind of just European vaguely <laughs> kind of thing yeah. that um, I think it makes it sound obviously more ridiculous and, <laughs> you know, fake and, you know, contemporary. Yeah. And you're supported by a great cast as well. Yeah. I mean, because you've got other, like tons of other voices that are incredible as well. I mean. Well, tell me about bringing some of these great actors on onto this project. I mean, was it easy to recruit people? You know, fortunately, people were really into it. They, got, I think, they got the spirit of what the show was and what I wanted to do. And I, I talked to one of the first people cast was Orlando Bloom. He, he was my first choice for Harry. And then I talked to him, and we had a conversation. And uh, I think once he got that what I was trying to do, that it was just this affectionate, silly satire, he was very much on board. And the other actors, kind of the same thing. Sophie Turner, I DM'd her actually and was like, would you want to play Charlotte? And she was like, yes. So that's how that happened. Mm -hmm. Alan Cumming, I think I DM'd too, who plays uh, the butler Owen. I've worked with Ewan Rayon and Francis de la Tour, who are William and the Queen on a show I did in London with Ian McKellen called Vicious. So people were, I either kind of had worked with them before or they were my Condola Rashad I had seen in, um, uh, a Doll's House Part 2 on Broadway, and she was so really funny, and I was like, I want to work with her one day. And as soon as this came up, I was like, oh, that's who I would love it to be. You know, she's so funny and uh, talented and unique. Um, so yeah, it kind of came together like that. That is incredible. Okay, I got to talk to you about two things. Number one, this is such a good reason to tell people to check their Instagram DMs. Like, there may be a job waiting for you. <laughs> in your Instagram DMs, like that is awesome. And two, how cool that like Orlando Bloom was your first choice and he said yes. When I mean, was that know, yeah. feeling when he said yes? Yeah, and he's so funny on the show as Harry and it's such a sweet yeah. kind of, you know, goofy thing that he's doing that I think, you know, if you, once you watch it, you kind of see like, oh, you know, this <laughs> is so ridiculous that it's just meant to be funny. Yeah, well, and, he, and he's perfection. I think the casting was great. So you obviously had great choices. I mean, have you actually ever heard from anyone in the royal family or do you know like what they think about like your posts or the show? You know, no, I never have. People ask me that a lot. I've never heard from anybody in it. No, I wouldn't expect to. I think it would be weird for them. I don't think that's how they roll. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not really even a royals person. I think sometimes <laughs> think or even interested in them in the slightest. You know, everything comes out of, uh, there were, there were, I just don't know. People think I know more than I do. I'm like, I know nothing. I just, it's, I just make it all up in my head, you know? It's yeah. not based on anything. Everybody thinks like you're the secret insider, like low yeah, key. Zero. Team yeah. No, I watch <laughs> and Royals coverage. None of it interests me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, well you make a good show out of it. I mean, given this, I mean, obviously, you know, you don't know the family, you haven't met people, but do you think that like when George is older, if he watches the show, do you think he'd get a kick out of it? You know, I would hope so. I mean, you know, it's so, I mean, it's so clearly something that is this fictitious alternate universe and it's so, clearly not meant to be anything other than fun and silly. So yeah, yeah, I would hope he'd have a huge sense of humor about it, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try not to give out a spoiler here, Gary, but you left us with a cliffhanger at the I very did. end of the season. What does this mean for future seasons? You know, well, uh, I always saw the show as a bit serialized, you know, as it becomes serialized. It, it's like, you know, the bizarro crown, um, if you will. Mm -hmm. And it was my yeah, way of like, what would Shakespeare do now if he was using it completely through pop culture, a pop <laughs> culture obsessed eight year old who was desperate to be king one day. Mm -hmm. And so the story will keep kind of threading with the royals and the servants and everybody in the world. I think it'll just keep, it'll keep spinning out, you know, the goal is for it to become more and more serialized as we go. So you can't help yourself, hopefully, from being kind of drawn in and somehow finding yourself invested in these characters. Yeah, yeah, well, I hope you see like a season two and a season three and a season Thanks. 11, I mean, people love it. Thank you.
Yeah, absolutely. Do you have like a favorite character aside from George? So I feel like that would be an easy favorite. You know, I have, uh, I love um, Owen, who's uh, voiced by Alan Cumming, who's George's butler. I think there's something very, you know, yeah, there's so, it's, it's a very different kind of character. He has an episode that's all his in the series mm-hmm. and it's, it takes us out of the world into a completely other world. So that's always a fun thing to explore. And of course, the queen, who's voiced by Frances de la Tour is also, um, she's so brilliant. It's just like, she just goes full throttle into it. But they're all super fun to write. You know, I, I really um, love everything, uh, bits about all of them. Yeah, yeah. And they're all super fun. They, like at some point in time, they all have at least one like zinger, one one-liner that like you just keep in your mind that's actually hysterical. So aside from the show, do you have your own Starbucks drink? I've read this. Oh, that's so funny. First of all, it's literally, I did not know you were going to say that. It's, I was literally, as you were talking, I'm like, can I take a sip? <laughs> Gary has the Gary with him. This is incredible. Okay, talk, does it have it it your name on it? Okay, did you walk in and order the Gary? Do they know this or do you have to go walk them through? You the know, at, <laughs> at my Starbucks, they know. You know, cause they know me because I they see me so often. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's a grande iced mocha, no whip, two pumps of mocha only because they normally put four. It's way too sweet. Almond milk. I drink almond milk that I like. Um, yeah, and it's I drink it every day for I guess about fifteen years. Oh my gosh! You never get tired of it. You never like deviate. No, I have one a day, and if it tastes a little different, like I can tell if somebody different makes it or if I have and it's taste they use something different and I it kind of throws me off you know I'm just like it needs to taste the same oh my gosh that is wild that is wild. but it's also that at least you know when you go to your Starbucks you <laughs> that is but everybody has it their own drink right I mean true but I can't go to Starbucks and be like hey I want the Chesley they'd be like who yeah. are you and what is that <laughs> But it's so cool. It's so cool. Okay. And you're doing so much, obviously, like you got your drink. You also have your book that's coming out. Tell me about it next year, right? Yeah, it's coming out in April. I just finished it. Actually, it's called Start Without Me. And it's just kind of essays from, you know, things in my life, in my earlier life and stuff that kind of, you know, still bother me. <laughs> I said, you know, as you get older, you'll find out, Chesley, <laughs> you, you kind of remember things that you didn't expect you to remember somehow. But there are certain things and you kind of connect the dots a little bit, I think, as you get older. And so yeah. maybe it's a bit of that. Well, and, and, what and you can pre-order it now. Yeah. I'm sorry? I said, what inspired the cover? Oh, <laughs> you know, um, my editor actually worked with the, the artist to kind of come up with that. And they showed me kind of options and I loved it. So, yeah, it just felt right. I, sometimes I can't articulate why it felt right, but it just felt it felt right. Are those actually your ankles in those shoes? Mm-mm. No, it's kind of like, I think it's like, you know, it's a substitute me. <laughs> Every man. <laughs> We're going to believe. believe it's you or like a depiction of Prince George when he's older. It'll be one of those two. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Gary. I so appreciate your time. Hysterical show, hysterical Instagram. I mean, keep thank people you. Silent. It was a real pleasure, Chesley. Absolutely. Thank you. Have a good one, Gary. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.